Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a react and review to The Witcher's uh, Netflix trailer. Um, some of you have requested this and I really appreciate that you want to have a conversation with me about it. I think that's really cool. Um, so we're just going to jump into it. I apologize that I haven't been able to get this up, but um, I've been making sandwiches and coffee at my day job. And then I have been going to university as well. And it's just been a little bit of an unbalanced time, but that's okay. I'm human. This is what happens. This is life. Um, and I also bought this wonderful jacket on the weekend. Isn't it nice? <laughs> um, it was from a market, so it was really cheap. So that was good. Anyway, let's watch this. of the continent when humans and monsters arrived elves taught humans how to turn chaos into magic and then the humans wow look at Yennefer chaos is the most dangerous thing in this world but without control chaos will kill you so that's all life is to you Monsters and money. It's all Damn. Right. <laughs> Something out there waits for you. This child will be extraordinary. Jennifer, imagine the most powerful woman in the world. Do you have what it takes? Oh God, I'm here. She's why they came. You can't outrun destiny just because you're terrified. Of it, it's coming. Find God for you. I can't do this without you. No matter what you choose, you'll come out bloody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, I, I kind of have nothing but good things to say. I'm a very positive and bubbly person. If you haven't noticed this about me already. Um, so I'm trying, I'm going to try and keep it critical and I'm just going to go off the top of my head natural. Try not to pause this video and get my thoughts together. Just go with it. Um, but I think that this will surprise a lot of people because I was very nervous about this show. I'm a huge fan of the games and the books now as well. And um, the storyline in general is amazing. And I was so nervous when Henry Carvel got cast, which is like, it, in hindsight is pretty, is stupid, right? Because we don't know, we're not in the casting room. We don't know what these casting directors see in the actors. And Henry as Geralt looks awesome. That he looks badass, you know, in the end with the eyes because he's drank that potion with that big thing coming out the water. It just looks epic. Thank God for Netflix graphics as well, that Netflix budget. Um, but I know from being on movie sets as an extra that people work freaking hard to make sure that every aspect of a really beloved story is perfect and you know everyone interpretates art differently everyone has a different vision for how things should be portrayed and how they shouldn't be portrayed but like guys I think this is gonna be really good I feel really positive about this it looks amazing his little like medallion um, everything all the details how they um, showed Yennefer being a um, cri uh, cripple a hunchback first because that's how she started and then she obviously becomes Yennefer of Enderberg um, and Ciri being this really doe-eyed, almost innocent looking girl. I, I love it. Um, Yennefer, everyone's had trouble obviously with, but I think, you know, I reckon that actress has probably worked very, very hard 
and um, being in prosthetics and all that is no joke and that looked like heaps of prosthetics um, and that would have been very em emotional to be on in that mindset constantly um, it's very draining being on, being on set so um, I I have to hang on I have to I have to say something negative right like I have this is how reviews work I just think I'm really excited about this um, I guess like the only maybe the only thing is like Henry Carvel was built like a brick shit house and um, is Geralt of Rivia that buff I don't know <laughs> I mean, is that a bad thing that Geralt has like lit, like Hulk muscles? For me, this looks like the series occurs with the first two books, which is technically the first two short stories, um, which is The Last Wish. And what's the other one? Uh, let me just Google it in front of me. Professional. The Last Wish and Sword of Destiny. So in The Last Wish, we see um, Geralt get gaining his kind of reputation as the Butcher of Blaviken. And I think that's kind of what the trailer's um, alluding to as well, from him walking down that street with like blood and stuff. And then um, we also are introduced to Yennefer's character as well um, and how they met and how their destinies kind of intertwined at the start. Um, and I think it's good to see Yennefer's kind of backstory first because when you lay that foundation out um, in a TV show, it kind of provides empathy and sympathy for um, the audience that is watching. You know, we think of shows like Breaking Bad where even though... Walter White turns into this drug lord Heisenberg, we still kind of root for him and we still feel sympathy for him um, because they've created this really uh, multifaceted character that has all these different emotions and there's a reason why they're doing the things they're doing because they've been through so much and they've had so much happen to them. So I think it's good to lay those foundational elements early on to build on the character of Yennefer and kind of what she's been through. Then kind of looking at Ciri, what we can see, um, I guess, is that Ciri is older and in the first two books of the short stories, Ciri, Ciri's not even born, but then she's also really young, um, like five, you know. Um, so obviously, I don't know if they're going to show that. Um, with her being super, super young because it really just looks like there's an older Siri, which is totally fine. Like I understand why that would be the case because they have to have her as kind of the main um, lead kind of of the story um, with her growing up quite quickly over the space of uh, the books. And you know, if season two is going to be filmed uh, back to back with season one, then it's going to be pretty hard to kind of make her look young and old. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I understand why they would have chosen just like, okay, let's just stick with one actress that can look like 12, but she can also look 18 if she needs to. You know, I think that Freya kind of fits that model. It makes sense casting wise. It looks dark. It looks grim dark, like, you know, Game of Thrones vibe. And maybe that might be a detriment. Maybe we should just let... The Witcher be its own thing rather than follow this um, grim dark tale of Game of Thrones with the same aesthetic vibe but then again like how how do you portray it differently it looks like it's in Velen as well does it not look Velen vibes to you guys I'm feeling Velen in that trailer okay I just want to open this up to have a really really exciting conversation with fellow Witcher fans and we can all fangirl together about how wonderful or how problematic or whatever you want to say about this show um, is everyone's got their own different interpretation and own opinion on this and it would be wonderful to kind of see um, and discuss it with each other. Let's form a little fan group. Let's do this. And then maybe we can even um, watch it kind of together. That would be cool, right? Like have like some people around the world all talking about it. Um, yeah, all getting together. 
I don't even know. I That's it for me. I thought this was epic. I'm really excited. This makes me even more excited. His hair is perfect. His medallion's perfect. He has the sword on his back. He's riding Roach. Yennefer's perfect. Ciri's perfect. Everything looks wonderful. Let's just enjoy this for what it is. And if we don't like it and we have problems with it, well, we're not the ones on set and we're not the ones creating it, are we? So we're allowed to do that. We're allowed to have our own opinion, but we didn't do all the hard work. <laughs> We just watched it and we should just enjoy it for what it is. So let's do that. Okay, that's enough from me um, and farewell. I'll see you next time where I talk about books. <laughs>